Hey friends, today we are going to be dining at the Mrs. Potato restaurant that was featured on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, the TV show with Guy Ferrari. And this is actually located right here in Orlando, Florida, close to Universal Studios and Walt Disney World. And it's all about potatoes. So, let's go do this. It was season 26, episode 12, when Guy Ferrari and Joey Fatone from NSYNC actually came out and ate here. And basically, it's a Brazilian specialty restaurant serving up dishes based all around potatoes. And that's why it's Mrs. Potato. You can take a look in here. It has all of its awards and, of course, all of the drivers, dive-ins, and dives like memorabilia, including the Guy Ferretti uh, tray right here that's signed by him. This is really awesome. They were featured on USA Today, the Orlando Observer, lots of amazing like news articles about this place. So I'm excited to try. Now that I'm actually at my table, I can take my mask off and I'll give you guys a little show around. And it's really funny because the restaurant is called Mrs. Potato Restaurant, but it has a heavily like potato head themed. And you can see that with all of the amazing Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head figures that they have throughout the whole restaurant. As you can see, it's themed pretty well. And there's a lot of ones that I actually remember. Even here's Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. And then up here we have some Mickey Mr. Potatoes. Look at pin trading and Mickey ears on this one. And then a lot more on this side even. A lot of potato heads. I remember playing with potato head dolls when I was younger and I would always lose the pieces and they used to have that little compartment in the back but I would always lose like the ear and stuff like that and it's nice to see that they still have like a culture like impact and they're still around to this day. I mean they're very heavily themed in Toy Story the movie so it's nice to see that an old you know toy has actually still got its thing going. Of course, since this was featured in Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, I'm going to order the same thing that he actually got, and that was the Rosti, which is the uh, Carnia one. So the Brazilian cured meat with cream cheese. I'm excited to try this, but they have a whole bunch of different other ones too. Some of them are just baked potatoes, or you can get the Rosti version of it. And obviously, the Rosti is a little bit more expensive because it's bigger, but you can get a baked potato just topped with bacon, broccoli, sausage, chicken, so many different options. The list goes on and on. I haven't tried many Brazilian restaurants before, but they do have some Brazilian classics here, so I'm gonna actually get a couple of those that I know I'll probably enjoy. This would be the first time trying a Rossi, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna like the cream cheese on top, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a test. I think I'm definitely going to be trying the chicken drops, which is a Brazilian popular appetizer. Shredded chicken breast, seasoned, covered in dough, and then deep fried. But they have a lot of other amazing items. Some truffle fries, some codfish fritters, and even a Miss Potato Brazilian burger. And of course, it's served on a potato bun. Here are the chicken drops served with a house-made garlic sauce and a sweet chili sauce. This looks really good. It kind of just kind of looks like mozzarella like bites kind of, but there's chicken inside there. I want to see what's on the inside before I take a bite. Oh, look at that. That actually looks really good. We're going to just dive in right now here. These are really, really good. They also have like a homemade hot sauce. I like how they give you a little spoon. So we're gonna try a little bit of the homemade hot sauce as well to just put with the chicken. Find out if the sauce is really hot, hot. Good. It's got a kick. It's got a little kick to it. These are very delicious actually. Now I'm hooked. And he said that they're popular in Brazil, so I feel like I, if I ever come across them again on a menu, I would order them knowing that this is something that I like a lot. When I added the hot sauce to it, I immediately thought of a spicy meatball, but this is a chicken drop, so it's like, that's a spicy chicken drop. And here comes the main course. Look at this bad boy. This is what Guy Ferrari and them tried in the kitchen. 
this looks amazing this is all like hash browns you can see they're perfectly browned wow this is going to be delicious i can't wait to try this and this is the brazilian cream cheese that they actually make in house here a very good combination i feel like i guess i'm just going to cut right into it here look at that oh boy <laughs> this is gonna be much too good for children i am a huge meat and potato guy so this is like the perfect thing it's like basically a meaty potato pancake and i just can't wait to try this This is so amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm not a big fan of cream cheese, but this isn't too bad. This is different. I like this a lot. The hash browns have the perfect little crunch to it, and the meat is seasoned perfectly. This is a really good, this is a sleeper. I can't wait to try some more offerings. I'm definitely coming back here though. This is, this is really good. And it's a pretty big portion. So like the, the whole entire like dish is probably bigger than my head. So you can definitely get full off this. And for 16 bucks, it's not a bad deal. One thing you definitely can do is get a little bit of this hot sauce and pour it right on there. And that'll give it a little kick and some extra flavor. The hot sauce is definitely enough to get your glasses a little steamy. <laughs> I think with that we are done here. I really enjoyed my meal and I also enjoy just looking at all the different potatoes and they actually have an outdoor patio area. I didn't see this before but look at how nice this is. Very fancy and I like those chairs. Now that I'm all full up on my potatoes, which everything was amazing in there actually. So much cool stuff I've never tried before. And I was thinking, because this is in a shopping mall, and that's what kind of makes the show cool, diners, drive-ins, and dives, is because it's like a, a unique spot in a little shopping mall right here in Orlando. There are so many other amazing things that they have right in a row here. You can really go on a culinary adventure in this little shopping mall. Of course, we have the Brazilian specialty at Mrs. Potato Restaurant. And then we have Antonio's House of Pizza. We have an Indian hut, a you and me, a Mexican restaurant called El Patron, and then a Bubalucious barbecue right across the street. This is like an adventure. Since it wasn't very long that we were actually in there eating, even though everything was fantastic, I think I'm going to carry the video on over to the character warehouse. Since we're on this side of the town, I heard they have my hats actually in there for like seven bucks. So I'd love to pick up a couple of those and bring you guys along with me. It definitely seems like it's been a very long time since I've come here and made a video, but we are at the Orlando Premium Outlets to go to the Disney character warehouse. This is going to be fun. If you're not familiar with what the Disney character warehouse is, it's basically a place where you can buy cheap Disney clothing and all Disney parks like branded items. It's where they actually send it over from the parks at a clearance rate. So a lot of good deals. Right here it is. I like the marquee signage that they have. Disney's character warehouse. And they're doing an actual like virtual wait list. So you uh, give them your phone number and they text you and let you know when you can actually go into the store. I don't know how long the wait time is, but I got a couple minutes. I'll just wait around. Doesn't look like it's too busy. It's starting to get a little dark out. I've been waiting for just around an hour and I'm starting to actually think maybe I'm not gonna be able to get in here because it closes at eight o'clock and it's seven already. So we'll just wait and see, but man, if they don't text me soon, I think we're gonna be out of luck. The only reason I know that they have my hats in there is because so many people have sent me messages telling me. I did come one time recently after someone sent me a message and when I got here, they were all sold out. So uh, I just waited a little bit and I got a couple more messages said, hey, they restocked. So that's why I'm here today. And I'm hoping that maybe, maybe they're in there somewhere. I mean, it's kind of like crazy because I, I'm trying to like peek in here to see. I see some hats in that shelf like back there, but they're not my exact hats, but maybe mine are near it. 
I don't know, we'll see. One hour later, not too shabby. I knew there was gonna be a little bit of a wait, but uh, as long as I can get some of my hats, I'll be happy. Well, they don't have any of my hats. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have some assorted hats for $3.99. They even have Flower and Garden Festival ones right here. Look at this. These don't even have a date on it. Oh yeah, 2020. So they have the 2020 hats for $3.99, but none of my hats. I guess that's a little sad that I waited an hour to get my hats and they didn't have any, but I guess that's the game you play. Otherwise, I think we can look around and maybe find something else that I wanted. I mean, there's a lot of good deals happening here. They have a Lady in the Tramp pet bowl. I would definitely get this for Gracie, but she already has a 101 Dalmatians bowl. But this one is very pretty, and it's only $8.99, and it was $22.99. And then they've got some spirit jerseys for the doggos. She doesn't like wearing the spirit jerseys, though. I've tried. Trust me, plenty of times. She's just not happy, so we don't force the situation there. They have a lot of cool jackets here. I've been wanting this jacket, but they don't have it in my size. I love this because it's like that retro Walt Disney logo. These are really cool and they're only $19.99, originally $70. And then these ones right here are $24.99, originally $60. I always feel like every time I come here, the thing that I want is never in my size, so I always miss out. I think it depends on if you get here earlier, they have more available sizes, but uh, I always strike out. These attraction t-shirts are really cool. We have Fantasyland 1983, The Three Caballeros, 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas. Oh, even the Nightmare Before Christmas one. That kind of stands out a little bit. They're $12.99 actually, originally $34.99. That's not a bad deal either. There's a lot of really good deals. These are the teacups, a lot of character shirts down here. These were the hats that I seen looking at the window. They're only $3.99. I don't know if these would look good on me, but I might get one just for the fact that it's $3.99. I like the little Mickey on them. Actually, I think they might be a little bit big, like brim-wise. I know I'm wearing my hat underneath it, but I don't want to touch it because I don't know if I'm going to buy it yet. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's what it looks like. I don't think I can walk around the parks with this. A couple of really cool coffee mugs, though. Look at this Toy Story one. Beware, a toy will follow you home. And it's like the hitchhiking ghost. Oh, toys tell no tales. I think I need to get this. Yeah. How much is this? $19.99? Oh, but all mugs are $5.99. That's a steal. I'll take it. They got some really cool spirit jerseys and this Best Friends Forever. That's the Goof Troop. Look at that. Roxanne, Maxi. Oh, this is a good shirt right here, but I think it's for the ladies. And they have tons of the spirit jerseys, like I said. I think these are for the ladies too, but I would wear this one. Just not my size. They have a lot of iPhone cases and magic bands. These look like they're from Pandora. They have like a boys and a girls. And then also they have these cookies, mini sweets, chocolate and vanilla character cookies. They're only 99 cents a box. That's not too shabby. Mickey's really swell coffee, $4.99. I would totally buy this, but I got a Keurig now. But that's a good deal. These are pretty expensive in the parks. And $4.99 for a pound of coffee is actually pretty cheap even in a grocery store. This is a really good deal too. Disney masks are only $1.75 in here. So if you plan on buying a bunch of Disney masks before you actually come to the parks, I would stop here first because you'll be saving almost 80%. I mean, they have Halloween, Christmas, but they have Baby Yoda, just generic Mickey. A lot of good ones actually. Well, I think I did good. I didn't get my hats, but I did get that bigger hat and I got my Haunted Mansion Toy Story mug. So that's a fair deal. I'm happy with that. And now I think I'm done for the day. What a fun, like adventurous day. We went to a new restaurant that I haven't eaten at before that was featured on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. Had an amazing meat and potato meal. And then uh, we hopped on over here to Character Warehouse and search of my hat and struck out. But what are you gonna do? And uh, overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, so we'll see you next time. Bye.